persimmon bread loaf. Let's make it. There's two different types of persimmons. One's a yellow, small, hard one that kind of looks like a mini pumpkin. And then there's the other one that looks more like a tomato. It's more red, round, heart shape, a hysia. Those are the ones that people usually bake with. And those are the ones we're gonna use today. You need about four of them. You're gonna cut off the tops after you wash them. They should be kind of soft to the touch and squishy. They should be so ripe, in fact, that you can just scoop it out easily with a spoon, or you can just literally squeeze it out into a blender or a food processor. You're gonna to need to puree it until it comes out nice and smooth. Pour the puree into a mixing bowl. Add 1 3rd cup melted butter, 1 teaspoon baking soda, a pinch of salt, 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, 1 large egg beaten and pour it into the bowl, 3 4 cup sugar, and 1 and a half cups all-purpose flour. Mix that together until it's all combined. Pour your mixture into a 4 by 9 loaf pan, smooth it out, place onto a baking sheet, bake at 350 for 15 minutes, cool for 20, and then you're gonna have the most delicious persimmon loaf you ever had. And trust me, it's delicious. Follow Latin Roses because you need her in your life.